how yoga changed my life. I've never said this on video, but I was, when I started in 19, 1980 nothing, <laughs> I think it was 1985, I was 35 pounds overweight, but I didn't know it. I just thought I was a healthy, I never lost my baby weight. <laughs> it took only 10 years, uh, less than that. But anyway, I figured out I was overweight because I lost so much weight when I started hot yoga. So I thought I'd give this yoga thing a try. So I went down to the yoga source in Palo Alto. Thank you, Christina, for opening that place. I thought I kept wanting to do it, but I just didn't get around to it. I'm in the park in Palm Springs doing my yoga this morning and I thought, you know, I'm going to share this because no matter where you're at, it doesn't matter. No one's looking at you when you go to yoga class. They're all struggling with their own challenge. Okay, I know there's a lot of pretty outfits that are totally too expensive and that's not what happens in India. People just come in very casual outerwear, um, nothing sexy, and just do it. Okay, so I started uh, hot yoga, and I did it for 17 years, and got to, after 10 years, started teaching it. But in that first class, oh my gosh, I was so overwhelmed. Um, I thought I was gonna faint. I have low blood pressure, so all the changing around got to me. I thought, well, I'll just try this once a week. Soon I was going four or five times a week. And I loved how I felt. I felt renewed, invigorated, had more energy, stopped drinking so much. Um, and I changed my diet just naturally. Didn't read anything about it. I just stopped having lasagna for breakfast. Not a good idea. And then all of a sudden, people were not even recognize me because I recognized me because I did. I lost so much weight. I lost thirty five pounds. I remember Wolf, my son's pediatrician, um, dentist, pediatric dentist, came out to talk to me in the waiting room, and he didn't recognize me and went back in. <laughs> he told me later, and that's because. I fit in my skinny jeans before skinny jeans were popular because those were the jeans I could wear at a reduced weight. I hung on to them. No, they might have been the new ones I got. Anyway, it's funny how when you lose so much weight, there's a place where you don't realize it and you just keep wearing baggy clothes which is fine, but all of a sudden I realized I could get new, shapelier clothes. Anyway, the whole point of this is just to let you know that no matter where you are in your fitness journey, <laughs> you can start anywhere. Um, I was at the gym yesterday and I saw this gal. She might have been 100 pounds overweight. And she was on the Stairmaster. I had tried it for the first time. And I thought, bully for you, good for you. Because, you know, probably 90% of it is you think what people will think when they see you trying to do stuff. But everyone's challenged. Everyone is doing their own thing. So if you want to try yoga, do it. Um, Anyway, after 17 years of doing hot yoga, I switched to Kundalini yoga. Thank you, Gurmukh, in India at the International Yoga Festival. This first time I had tried it. And it was such a different feeling. It was much deeper. It wasn't just about the physical. Um, and it was challenging. I felt some things I'd never felt before. Um, went back to my past, had some memories that like all of a sudden my grandmother's house in detail in Buffalo, New York came up. I could see the whole thing, all the rooms. 
and just a real deep connection with myself. So I started that and then I got certified and did the five week training in New Mexico at their Kundalini Yoga Center. Um, there's an ashram, Kundalini Yoga Ashram and in Española. And then uh, started teaching that worldwide and doing workshops. So don't hold back. If you feel called to do something, it doesn't have to be yoga, but I just wanted to share that with you that, you know, since I started in the 80s doing yoga, it's become more, um, kind of more mainstream, more popular, but there's a piece of it that I think is kind of missing in that you can, any kind of exercise that's going to change your life is, is going to be spiritual, mental, and physical. And pick something you love and it will change your life. Pick something that you know you'll do. I'm out here in the park. Um, I have taken a temporary um, absence from yoga and now I'm back. So feeling good. Have a great day. And if you have any questions, just uh, comment below. So thanks for being here.